Hi, I'm George Fairburn, and today we're going to be talking about replicating a live performance on stage. As you can see behind me, we've got our lovely musicians, Dav and Ryan, but we've also got, most importantly, two lights up in the back, and they're on your typical stage colors of red and the blue. You will always see those colors, at the very least, at a live show. And then I've got one beauty dish, again, gridded. Um, I was in two minds about making this an actual spotlight, but I decided that would be a bit too harsh and I want it to look good, even though it's still gonna be a performance. So we've got a gridded beauty dish as the key light. Our stage lights up in a position you would expect to see them. Black, because it's gonna be dark in there. And then probably most important, we have smoke. We have smoke in a can that Steve is gonna spray for us. And then we'll get the shots, probably get a few shots because it's gonna look amazing. And yeah, let's do it. All right, so you guys, when, I, when we're ready, that same thing before, Axel and Slash lean into each other, rock out. Steve, if you could spray some smoke for me. Wave it up and down a bit. All right, that's good. All right. Beautiful. Let's do one more. This time, instead of that one, give me more of like, but try to keep your chin and face up towards the camera and then really lean into them, but, and then try to look down that way. Yeah, there you go. But chin up a little bit, Ryan. Perfect. All right, Steve, spray. All right, that's good. And all right, go. Smashing. Should we do, <laughs> while we've got, just we'll do like a um, almost bog standard portrait with Steve putting the smoke behind. Um, do you want to wrap the mic? Yeah, just like that. Have it, if you hold it, you wanted to lean on it, you wanted to do what, however you would do it. Is that how you do it? Probably, yeah, just All right. walk off like, yeah. like that. All right, let's put you sort of here. And then if you want to sort of get, so tuck this shoulder almost behind like that. And keep that look, that's a good look. And then almost like just finished the best show ever, but you're still pissed off. <laughs> All right, Steve, spray some smoke for me, please. All right, that's good. And hold that for a minute. All right. So your last one, like, like, you know Parkway Drive. Yeah. Like, he practically, like, eats the microphone. Yeah. So do that, um, and then, I don't know, rock out. It's channel your inner prog, prog <laughs> god. You're a guitar god, and then yeah, you're gonna swallow the microphone. <laughs> Not really, but. <laughs> All right, Steve, lots of smoke. Get it as close to them as possible. All right, that's good. All right, rock out. All right. And that's pretty much it. You can create pretty much your own gig with three lights and some smoke in a can and a black background. I think the black background's pretty key. It wouldn't look the same if it was on any other color. And gel the lights, smoke, backlight the smoke, good to go. So some key points to consider when replicating a live performance. If you do gridded, gels, it's important to put the gels behind the grid. If you put them on the other side, the, the gel will actually end up diffusing the light, which defeats the entire purpose of having a grid on it to begin with. So gels behind the grids. Um, the smoke is quite important. It, without it, it lacks atmosphere. You still have the blackness, you'll still have the colored lights, and you'll still have your key light. And you can have all the emotion in the world, but it just misses something and having the smoke just adds atmosphere to the shot and gives it more and what it needs. And one other thing is also you're probably, the ratio between your stage lighting and your key light will have to be a bit different than you would normally expect to do it. I had to lower 
the key light quite a bit because it was taking away some of the drama of the shot. So we've lowered the power on the key light to act not quite as a fill, but not as bright as you would normally expect, but brighter than a fill still. So it's just not as dominant as it, you would expect it to be. And we wanted to replicate the stage lighting. And generally that's what the case is gonna be, is that the front lights aren't gonna overpower everything else. And so we kept it nice and dim. Have fun, experiment, make it awesome.